So my name is Jamar Mills, um, AKA, uh, if you know me when I was younger, you would call me Biggie, AKA uh, G, it was a time when I was just G, um, AKA Principal Mills, AKA the Turnaround Principal, AKA Dr. Mills, right? And so I, I, I want to take you on a journey as we talk about this reason why we're here, which is called reinvention. So in order to have a re, you have to have been what? Invented, right? In order to have a reclaim of something, you have to have claimed it once before. And so when we talk about inventing ourselves or reinventing ourselves, we're not saying that we're killing something and moving on to a brand new self. We're saying that we're shedding the things that we needed to grow from and elevating. And when I was Biggie, I wasn't necessarily the person that the world was ready for. And so when I was 15, I had 400 stitches in my face. So if you get close enough, you'll see the scar that goes down the right side all the way down to my cheek. And then as I grew, I became G. That was me actually graduating from college and getting a little bit of money and buying all the flashy things that I thought I wanted. I was again reinventing myself. And I became a math teacher because I graduated, got a bachelor's. And while teaching math, a unique thing happened. The powers that be told me that those friends that I had at 15, who I protected, who protected me, that did things for me that my parents couldn't do or my mother couldn't do, that I no longer could be their friends. But if I continue to be their friends, that I would no longer be able to be a math teacher in the city that I was from. And so I had to reinvent myself in such a way that I don't lose them or lose myself trying to be this person that I knew God was preparing me to be. I moved on to a city called Newark. I got there when I was 23. By the time I was 25, I was the chairperson of the math department. By the time I was 26, I was the vice principal of the high school. By the time I was 27, I was the principal of the worst performing school in New Jersey. That was Principal Mills and how I reinvented myself, but never lost my core. In one short year, we went from 36% proficiency to 67% proficiency in language arts. And through that work there, in partnership with the Future Project, I thought that it would be appropriate to go even deeper and reinvent myself. And this is why I pursued the doctorate degree and now you have Dr. Mills, who is also the founder of his own network of schools. Things I want you to take away today as I bring up these amazing speakers is that in reinventing yourself, please don't lose yourself. In chasing your dreams, don't allow the thing or the carrot to make you give up who you are to go after what you feel that you need and understand that my transition to Newark, though it was difficult for me, was the best thing that could have ever happened to me in my life. So though you may not be in control, sometimes you gotta let it happen. And as it happens to you, you'll find out it was meant for you. That it was something that had to happen in order for you to get to the next level of self.